let's uh, solve some problems uh, what we have to do is show that lines are open and find points of intersection and also the equation of the plane containing them even lines are x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus 2 by 2 is equal to z minus 3 by 1 this is line 1 second line given is x minus 2 by 3 y minus 2 by 2 z minus 6 by 4 we have to prove that they are coplanar they lie on the same plane we have to find the points of intersection and then find the equation of the plane very clearly we can say that the ds of l1 2 2 1 ds of l2 is 3 2 4 now we also know based on this equations that l1 passes through x1 y1 z1 that is 1 2 and 6 similarly line 2 let's say passes through x2 y2 z2 that is 3 2 comma 2 comma 6 yes okay so now how do we show that the lines are coplanar x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 then the ds 2 2 1 3 2 4 this if it is equal to 0 then we can say that it is these lines are coplanar x2 minus x1 times 2 force 8 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 is 6 minus uh, let's actually substitute these values of x2 minus x1 x2 is 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 okay y2 minus y1 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so it doesn't matter what there is yeah plus z2 minus z1 so that is 3 times 4 minus 6 4 minus 6 is minus 2 okay. 6 minus 6 which is 0 right so l1 and l2 are coplanar now let's figure out the equation of the plane okay again x minus x1 instead of saying x2 minus x1 one we keep it as variable x minus x1 y minus y1 z z minus z1 2 2 1 3 2 4 is equal to 0 okay so x minus x1 is x1 is 1 x minus 1 times 4 to 8 minus 2 6 minus y minus 2 times 8 minus 3 is 5 z minus 3 4 minus 6 minus 0 equal to 0 6 x minus 6 minus 5y plus 10 minus 2z plus 6 is equal to 0. 6x minus 5y minus 2z 10 plus 6 16 minus 6 is 10 plus 10 equal to 0. This is the plane containing the two lines. Okay. Now we have to find the point of intersection line 1 is x minus 1 by 2 and is equal to y minus 2 by 2 and z minus 3 by 1 let's say this is equal to lambda so now we can write this as x is equal to 2 lambda plus 1 okay y is equal to 2 lambda plus 2 z is equal to uh, lambda plus now l2 is what l2 is 
x minus 2 by 3 y minus 2 by 2 is equal to z minus 3 not 3 minus 6 by 4. Now at the point of intersection x y and z would be common. So let's substitute this x y and z here. So what do we get? We get 2 lambda plus 1 minus 2 by 3 is equal to y. Now we have to substitute y. So 2 lambda plus 2 minus 2 by 2 lambda plus 3 minus 6 by 4. So these two get cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. We are left with 2 lambda minus 1 by 3 is equal to lambda is equal to lambda minus 3 by 4. Now let's take these two. So 2 lambda minus 1 by 3 is equal to lambda which implies 2 lambda minus 3 lambda is equal to minus 1 which implies minus no this is plus minus lambda is equal to 1 or lambda equal to minus 1. Now that we know lambda we can substitute it back into this so we have 2 lambda plus 1 point of intersection would be 2 lambda plus 1 2 lambda plus 2 lambda plus 3 which is equal to minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 so this is the point of intersection let's do the next problem same we have to find whether the given lines are coplanar or not we have to figure out the equation of the plane on which it lies and the point of intersection so l1 x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus 2 by 3 is equal to z minus 3 by 4 Similarly, L2 is x minus 4 by 5, y minus 5 by 6, z minus 6 by 7. Now, uh, with these two equations itself, we can say that the ds of L1 is 2, 3 and 4, of L2 is 5, 6 and 7. Not only that, L1 passes through 1, 2, 3. This is, so let us say this is x1, y1, z1. Similarly, L2 passes through 4, 5, 6. Let us say this is x2, y2, z. Okay. So, coplanaric. To this, we take the determinant. So, x2 minus x1. So, x2 minus x1 is 4 minus 1, 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. And then L1, M1, N1. So, that is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If this is equal to 0, then we can say that it is coplanar. So, let us solve this. 3 times uh, 7 3 is 21 minus 24 minus 3 plus no minus uh, 3 times 6 2 is 12 minus 15 that is minus 3 plus 3 times 6 2 is 12 minus 15 that is minus 3. Mm -hmm. I think I made a mistake here. Uh, 3 times 7 to 14 minus 20 that is minus 6 so I get minus 9 plus 18 minus 9 which is equal to 0 if in case when you are solving this if it does not come to 0 that can mean only two things one is you have made a mistake or you have not made a mistake 
and the lines are not coplanar. That means there is no point in going forward because you can't figure out the equation on which both these two lines align, right? Okay. So now that we know that they are coplanar, let's figure out the equation of the plane. Okay. To figure out the equation of the plane, we will use x minus x1. So x minus 1 y minus y1 z minus z1 and this remains as it is l1 m1 n1 l2 m2 n2 is equal to 0 so let's uh, solve this x minus 1 times 7 3 is 21 minus 24 is minus 3 minus y minus 2 uh, gives us 7 to 14 minus 20 is minus 6 plus z minus 3 times 12 minus 15 is minus 3 equal to 0. So this becomes minus 3x plus 3 plus 6y minus 12 minus 3z plus 9 equal to 0. Okay, this is supposed to be minus 3x. Okay. So 9 plus 3, 12. 12 minus 12. So minus 3x plus 6y minus 3z is equal to 0 divided by minus 3. We get x minus y x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. That is the equation of the plane k now what about the points of intersection so let's take l1 l1 is x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus 2 by 3 is equal to z minus 3 by 4 right let this be equal to lambda now this implies x is equal to 2 lambda plus 1 y is equal to 3 lambda plus 2 z is equal to 4 lambda plus 3 yes now in in case of a point of intersection points will be common so let's substitute these points into l2 now l2 is x minus 4 by 5 is equal to y minus 5 by 6 z minus 6 by 7 let's substitute 2 lambda plus 1 minus 4 by 5 3 lambda plus 2 minus 5 by 6 and then we have 4 lambda plus 3 minus 6 by 7 which becomes 2 lambda minus 3 by 5 3 lambda minus 3 by 6 4 lambda minus 3 by 7. Let's take these. So 6 to 12 lambda minus 18 is equal to 15 lambda minus 5. So this becomes minus 3 lambda is equal to 3. Lambda is equal to minus 1. So therefore, the point of intersection will be lambda 2 lambda plus 1, 3 lambda plus 2. 4 lambda plus 3. This is what we had. 2 lambda plus 1, 3 lambda plus 2, 4 lambda plus 3. Okay. Now we substitute minus 1. So this gives us minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So that is the point of intersection. A slightly different problem. Okay, uh, we have to find the equation of the line perpendicular to the lines and passing through the intersection uh, of the, okay, so you have uh, a line, another line. Now what we want is a line which is perpendicular to this and which is perpendicular to this is perpendicular to L1. Okay, so let's see. The lines that are give, given to us 
is x minus 5 by 1 is equal to y minus 6 by 2 is equal to z minus 10 by 3 is equal to let's say lambda x minus this lambda business is not given only this part is given x minus 2 by 2 y minus 1 by 3 z minus 3 by 4 now what we'll do is we'll say let's let this be equal to lambda and let this be equal to mu. Okay. now this is l1 l2 now l1 we can say it passes through lambda plus 5 2 lambda plus 6 3 lambda plus 10 okay. similarly l2 passes through 2 mu plus 2 3 mu plus 1 uh, then 4 mu plus point of intersection in that case what will happen these two have to be equal x as well have to be equal y has to be equal and z has to be equal so let's equate them so lambda plus 5 is equal to 2 mu plus which means uh, lambda minus 2 mu 5 minus 2 is 3 so plus 3 equal to 0 this is 3 okay similarly uh, 2 lambda plus 6 is equal to 3 mu plus 1 which implies 2 lambda minus 3 mu plus 5 equal to 0 and similarly uh, 3 lambda plus 10 is equal to 4 mu plus 3 which implies 3 lambda minus 4 mu plus 7 equal to 0. So we have got 3 equations in 2 variables. Okay, now let's solve them. Lambda is equal to uh, lambda by minus 10 minus minus plus 9. So minus 10 plus 9 is equal to mu. In this case, this would be minus mu and that would be 5 minus 6 is equal to 1 by now we have minus 3 plus 4 okay let's simplify this lambda by minus 1 is equal to minus mu by minus 1 is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to lambda by minus 1 is equal to mu by 1 oh, and 1 by 1. Now, if you take these two and these two separately, we can say lambda is equal to minus 1 and mu is equal to 1. So, the point of intersection would be Remember the coordinates that we had lambda plus 5, lambda plus 5, then we have 2 lambda plus 6 and 3 lambda plus 10. So let's substitute the values. We get uh, lambda minus 1 plus 5, 5 minus 1 is 4, uh, minus 2 plus 6 is 4 minus 3 plus 7, 10 is 7. So, 4, 4, 7 is the point of intersection of the two given lines. Now, we require the line perpendicular to this intersection. Now, uh, let the DRs of the required line be A, B and C. Required line is perpendicular right to L1 and L2. Therefore, A times 1 plus b times 2 plus c times 3 is equal to 0 and similarly with respect to line 2 we will have a times 2 plus b times 3 plus c times 4 is equal to 0 this is nothing but the sum of the products of the corresponding direction ratios in case of perpendicular lines okay so this can be written as a plus 2b plus 3c equal to 0 2a plus 3b plus 4c is equal to 0 and if 
we solve this, what do we get? A by uh, 4 to 8 minus 9, so minus 1, minus B by 4 minus 6, minus 2, C by, C by uh, 3 minus 4, that is minus 1, right? And here minus and minus will cancel. So what will be left with is a by minus 1 is equal to b by 2 is equal to c by minus 1. This implies that the equation of the line perpendicular to given lines and passing through 4 comma 4 comma 7 is x minus 4 by minus 1. Similarly, y minus 4 by 2 and z minus 7 by minus 1. So, we take the points through which the line is passing and we take the direction ratios. Okay. So, that is coplanarity of lines. That's it. Bye.